problem number 12. Okay? It says, a rancher wants to enclose two rectangular areas bordering a river. Okay? So here's the river, and here's two rectangular areas. Okay? And one for sheep, and one for cattle. Okay? He says that he has 480 feet available, okay? and he wants to know what are the dimensions x and y such that he will enclose the largest area. Okay? <coughs> and it says that no fence is needed along the river. Okay? So, the key words to this problem are find the largest area. Okay? So anytime it says the largest area, or largest or smallest, it means try and optimize. Okay? So this is an optimization problem. Okay? So for all optimization problems, we need a primary function and a constraint. Okay? So the primary function is what we're trying to optimize. So it's the area. So the area of this rectangle is going to be the dimension x times the dimension y. Okay, so it's area equals x times y. Okay? Right? Now we have to find a constraint. So the constraint is defined by how much we have. Okay? So we only have 480 feet of fence available. Okay? So that means the amount of fence has to equal. 480. Okay. So, since we have fence here, 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 and then on this side, okay, the amount of fencing we need is x plus x plus x plus y. Or in other words, 3x plus y. Okay. Right. So, now what we do is we rearrange the constraint and then plug it into the primary function. Okay. So I'm going to solve for y. So y is going to equal 480 minus 3x. Okay. All right. So let's plug this equation into the primary, and we're going to get the area equals x times 480 minus 3x. Okay. So simplify this equation, and we get 480x minus 3x squared. Right. So, now to optimize it, we have to take the derivative of this. So the derivative of this equation is going to equal, the derivative of 480x is just 480. Derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Okay. So, now we just set the derivative equal to 0. So, we're going to get 480 equals to 6x. So, x is going to equal 480 divided by 6, which is 80. Okay. So, x is 80 feet. Okay. So, <coughs> since it's asking for the dimensions of the rectangle, we need both x and y. Okay. So, we need to find y. Okay. But y equals 480 minus 3x. Okay. So, y will equal 480 minus 3 and 80. Okay. That means it's 480 minus 3 times 80, which is 240. Okay. So, that means it equals... 240. Okay. So, x will equal 80, and y will equal 240. Okay. So, that is answer choice E.